my name is the Durva Giri. Um, I am now running 34 years old. Uh, of course, my professor, uh, my background is uh, my parents is farmer, but I I never finished the school. Uh, that's why I looking for the job, and now I start to run the hotel business. Now I can say I'm the businessman and also do the social work. Now we are in a place called Chiton Sovraha. Uh, Saura, yeah. Chiton Saura, and then place where it is now is the Sapana village, is the area. So, yes, there is uh, some meaning about the loss. Of course, is a uh, uh, Sapana. I mean, dream is mean Sapana. And then um, when I start, when I find the job in the restaurant, to working, and I was working in a, like a carrying the food, but even I was not a waiter because I could not speak English. And then uh, slowly I start to learn English. And then I start to become waiter. Then after I did a six years waiter in the restaurant, and I, I was even restaurant captain because I did very good job, I think. And then uh, I then that time I meet people from the Europe, from the Netherlands. They are guests from the restaurant to eat. Like a few nights they come to eat in our restaurant where I work. And then before they departure, and I don't know why, they ask me, "What is your dream?" They ask my dream, and I was surprised a little bit. And then I just share my dream with them. And I told them, of course, one day I want to be my own boss and I want to run the hotel business. And then they told me, what do you want to do with uh, after your hotel business? And then, and then, of course, I told them, there's so many people in Nepal, they don't know how to read and write. It's still a problem for the people here. And then I think it's opening the eye for the people. It's so important to uh, read and write. And then I told the, them, the those people, I want to run the hotel business and what money I earn. And also I want to involve with the community to improve the education, especially for the poor children. And then they, and that I share with them. And because for me it's difficult still to read English and write English. And that is the, that means you, are not, you don't know what is going on in the world. And that's why I, I share with them about this dream. And then they ask me, uh, how much money are you looking for? And then I just tell them, if I have a 9,000 guilder, I can start my own business, a hotel. And of course that time they say, they don't have the money, but they really like the, my dream, and then what I really want in my life. And then they say, maybe we might help you in the future, but we cannot promise. And then they say, okay, and then they exchange my address, they took my address. And then of course I meet many people in the restaurant when I was wa doing waiter, and I just chit chat with people always, I like that. And then people, they, th then I don't believe it, you know, it's that they're gone, I, I forgot already. And then after five, six months later again, they send me the letter, and then they say, we have money for you and please send us your bank account. And I was surprised. I could not believe it. You know, they say, they're just making joke or is it real? I thought they're making joke. And I said, okay, let's try anyway. And then I send them, I opened my bank account. That time until I didn't have even an account. And then I opened the account. And then I send my bank account for them. Then I say, let's see what happened. And, and then they send me again second later. And they say, okay, we already put the money in your account. We already deposit the money. But you know, it's up to you how you're going to use this money. Or you can go bar, have a good party, or you follow your dream come true. And that, that was for me a shock. You know, I, that, then I checked the bank, there's money. Then I believe it. Then after I believe them, and then, the, then I went to the uh, bank and I collect the money. That time I was uh, 18 years old, and I went to Kathmandu. And for me, it's Kathmandu, even I lost. I never go to Kathmandu so often that time. And then I went with one of my friends to take me Kathmandu and we, I went bang and I put all this money in my wallet bag and I carried the money and I come down to the Chiton. And then I rent one hotel here. And that hotel was just under construction. Even there is no painting, no furniture, nothing. Just building was there. And then I rent with the owner for four years contact. Then, I, then after I started to buy furniture, choosing the color and all these things. And slowly I started a business. And then, I had a, a, when I started a business, I have a lot of problem because I don't know how to do the business. Sounds like I'm jumping in the big river and I don't know how to swimming, you know, and then, and I, then I think about, okay, I have to learn something. And then I find out the way because I start to talk to people. I love the talking to people and, and I start to meet all the nice people, you know, and when I start to talk to them, when I open, they open to me. And then so all the time, sometimes guests teach me about how to manage the hotel, how to clean the room, how to manage your staff. And all that I learned with the guests, with the people around me when I meet. And then I learned a lot. And one year I had a very hard time. 
and then after one years later even i lose a couple of kilo weight myself because i didn't know what to do and then after uh, one years later business slowly getting better and then because before of that when there's a uh, room hotel i rented there's only the room there's nothing more then i just selling the room and i feel so bad myself because there's a i used to do restaurant and waiter and i love to talk with the people and i miss this and i feel like said what i'm doing here and then i next like after one years later and when business started getting better then i asked the dos people can i make a restaurant and they said no no don't do that because it's too much for you you are too young for that now maybe just run with the hotel to selling the room i said thank you but i don't listen them normally i really have a strong character i can say myself i follow my heart you know then i start to make a restaurant without listening them who are helping me the 9000 gilder and i didn't listen i said okay i have to make a restaurant i made the restaurant without their permission and after when i make a restaurant i can do it again you see and then i'm really enjoy my job and i talk to people and then after slowly people they book the tour with me and then people stay more longer in the hotel they have more time to talk to me and then getting really better and better and i had already 11 staff working for me and i was really happy to see all this happening good way then 3 years later uh, the, the, the dutch people they come normally what they plan they say okay let's go to visit nepal and see what Dur durva is doing and they come to the uh, of course sapna village uh, no riverside hotel that was riverside another hotel and then they come to visit and i was very happy to show i had a bookkeeper and restaurant waiter room cleaner and show them account everything because i want to show them what i'm doing and but they just check and they ask me what is your next dream they really impressed i think how i'm doing the business and they ask me what is your next plan then I feel that okay oh I have to stop after one years later because this is a four years contract then I have to back to the restaurant again do waiter or I have to go to back to the farming my parents is farmer I don't know what to do then I share with them I want to do, buy my own piece of land and I want to start my own business and they say you can able to do that I say yes I can do it and then they say okay then 9000 gilder which one they give me I had all of this money to pay back but they borrow me kind of you know and then i they told me okay don't give us we don't need this money back you keep it and invest the money for the piece of land then i then after i looking the land and i found the land here where i'm now and then this was a uh, 10 years ago this was a uh, just rice field it was farmer own land and i talked to the owner from that land and he want to sell and i bought the land and i first things what i did i plant this on the tree and then i start to make slowly um, step by step uh, the room and kitchen and all these things and between of course i had a um, when i start a construction for the building i had a very difficult time for the final say final sir money like uh, the building then i i don't know where to go because the bank cannot trust and then people uh, rich people from nepal of course i cannot go there because they don't believe me i think then i start to borrow the money with the rickshaw driver or house builder with interest with the i pay them good interest and they borrow me the money and i slowly i start to finish the construction and then when i and then i also i make the company for the this place call and the company i say what name i should give then i decide okay anyway this is a dream and i can keep the name called sapna village it's like a dream village if it's not happen it's still, i can believe it's okay it's a dream but i can work for the dream if it's happen it's happen then i start then i keep then then i went kathmandu register the company for the government document all these things then i give the name called sapna village and sapna means dream and i work for the dream and then now is a 10 years old exactly this hotel and then it's not only the hotel but we do more other things than hotel only why i'm i'm different than other hotel and uh, uh, and also people start to learn uh, with us i can say that you know because uh, saura i born here i'm local from this place i know when i was child this are total jungle and all the animals running around here but now here is more than 95 hotel and lot of restaurant lot of shop but nobody thinking about how to protect the culture i mean our culture we have a special culture it's called tharu tharu are the original people from chithon and this this people are slowly starting to disappear their culture is start to loss nowadays because of the uh, when tourism entry there's good things and bad things you know there's both things is there but we, if we don't know how to use good uh, this playing the like a uh, things then you lost your culture and now saura there's more than uh, 95 hotel and all the hotel are really making big building 
because I don't blame the people here because we, we Nepali, we people from here, we see the television and our close country is China and India. We see there's a big house and big building and we thought this is the best and everybody doing the same thing here. But I learn is different because I was also get an opportunity to go to Netherlands. These Dutch people are helping me. They invite me in Netherlands when I was running other hotel. And then that time, I see that they took me all different places in Netherlands. And for me, it's eye open. And then this is the way I start to save our Tharu culture. And I build a house is exactly the way how Tharu people are living many years, many, many past ago. And now also even they start to, they also culture start disappear. But I think it's so important to save the culture and make them proud for this local Tharu people. And I'm working for this together to try to protect them and try to be different. With the, of course, that's, that's the reason also we are different than other hotel. And now, when I start first this building, this design way, people think I'm crazy. People don't believe it's going to happen. And then now people even saw that they start to come, they make picture and they start to copy us. And that's very nice, you know, because at least they learn, they copy with us and because this hotel become slowly getting better business. Even myself, you know, I never go to Kathmandu or Pokhara or any other place to marketing. I'm just working here myself in a hotel with all my team. And but people, they come in, start to come to our hotel because it's the main things what I learn is a good, give good service and good cleaning things and you know, Western comfort and then keep the, our culture, nature, na way how we building the house. And people love this, I, I, I find out. And then also other the hotels, they see that and they start to copy us, you know. That's good things also for other people around, like we are like example for the hotel now. Of course, we are doing different kind of, uh, different field work with the Tharu community. One of the things we try to make, because culture start disappear. reason, of course, there's Western people is here, they were, um, and they were wearing Western dress, and we Nepali, also people are around here, they start to copy. And then culture start disappear, because then how to serve the culture, we start to very worry about, and, and then we find out, so important, because tourism is here, they don't get any benefit. There's no, because, of course, Tharu are the original people. They should get some money back from the tourism, but nothing they get. And then we start to make our program book we have. There's like a Tharu henna tattoo because they have a special henna tattoo their hand and leg and they do this their culture. And then we make program now, Tharu henna tattoo. People can, our guests can book with us. They go to Tharu village, they make henna tattoo and they pay for money. And 50% money directly go to the community. And then also like a Tharu cooking class. There's, they have a special house and they build this typical Tharu house and then they can see, they can learn the culture each other, is learning each other and also these Tharu people getting the job, they can teach them how to make the food and then they also get the money. And also same like a Tharu fishing, they go fishing with the Tharu people because originally Tharu people are not like a farmer, they are not farmer before, they are before they are more uh, go to jungle, collect the vegetable, they go to fishing in the river, this is the daily life they had. But when this our jungle, national jungle become national park, then they are not allowed to go in the park. Then they change their occupancy to become farmer now. But still they used to go fishing a lot. And then I put the program also we to say Tharu fishing. And also you, you can go like a Tharu wedding. We also even arrange with our guests. If somebody want to do Tharu way to marriage, we also our hotel is arranged with a Tharu wedding ceremony for the guest, our guest. You see all these things we're selling the program for the Tharu things and they start to do that and they see there's a big opportunity and they start more protecting their house. The building start building the Tharu way the house and you can easily see after five years ago and now it's different. This is the way I try to make them proud and also we have a woman project here. There is more than 13 women working. And also this all the Tharu village women, they do handicraft things like workshop. We sell them, we look the market also. And now that their children go to school because they're having the job here. And our, because Sapana village, uh, our main goal and our target is not like uh, we're giving them money, but we, give, we, you know, we try to make as much as possi people possible to involve to have a job. But they have to do work. They have to do the things in themselves and earn the money. And that's the way we try to protect their culture. Yeah, you, even like example, very simple here, like where you see like this door and uh, see the design of the door. This is a normally many, many, many years ago, uh, Tharu community, there's a one uh, kind of like a leader, I can say. I can say leader, a leader have a house like this. Uh, because they, they have a, uh, like a, we, their culture is a jimdar. 
Jinder have a similar like this house. They make uh, this, and nowadays you don't find anymore. And then we find out this uh, by internet and all the different way. Then we doing the same. And also in the house and in our guest room, you see there's a uh, like a hand hand printed. And then also we do a, with a stem with a hand. This is also a, there's a special meaning about that. But they are not doing it nowadays slowly. But uh, then we thought, let's we do it our hotel. But when people think I'm crazy when I did first. Then nowadays when I start to sell the program for the Thai culture, and then they see it why people they like it why go to the village. And now village people are doing the same thing. And even our guests are so interesting. They want to go to do the, like house decoration. That means they do the hand print in Thai house. They play with the mud, put the new clay, you know. And then after hand print, it's really. They enjoy a lot, and yeah, this is the way we're doing. Yeah, our hotel we have a lot of program. Yeah, in, uh, uh, I already tell you before that we have big book of the program safari things, because here a uh, hotel in Saura there's a uh, only they do few things like elephant ride, canoe, jungle walk, and then culture dance and departure. But no, we things is not only that people coming here because people come here also for the culture. Like I told you already, Tharu culture. There's different. We have so many different culture in Nepal, and then uh, we try to keep our clients as long as possible in Saura. I mean, in Sapana Lodge, you know, to to give them comfortably enjoy the culture tour also. One is of course safari. Another, there's more culture about, and also more about the relaxing here. Uh, this is the that is the way we try to keep our clients longer here. Yeah, this is the you know what happening. Few time I when I talk my guest when come to the hotel, I tell them about my dream and I share with them. I love to share with people what I did, and then people the because why how I did this also, I really um, respect my deeply the those people who support me. I was first time Netherlands, and then of course I was homesick. Uh, I was uh, three months and first time when I was Europe, and they want to teach me. About the how to uh, work with the community, how to improve the village, how to save the culture, how to run the business. The, the people they really want to help me to teach, and then that time for me is too much. I could not write, I could not read, and I don't know how to use the computer that time. And then they ask me to write everything in computer. I don't know. Then after I'm so tired and I was homesick and I start to cry, and I told them, please send me the home. I I'm not the person who you're looking for. And the, I, I, I'm farmer son. I know how to do farming. I go home, please. I want to go Nepal. And this guy, the, the Netherlands people, they told me they see this. They say I can see your eye. You can do it. I know. I know you can do it. I can read your eye. I'm sure for that. This is the power I get. And then I feel okay. Why not? I can do it. Somebody person who tell who can see under my eye. I can do it. Then I can try. And then I try it. And then this, I talk with my clients, with the guests also, and they start to feel and they start to realize their dream also, you know. And then people start to work. I had a, uh, also I had a, with this our lodge we did a, in the Netherlands. There's a lot of link with our hotel in the Netherlands. There's a boy from Netherlands, teenager. They are very bad behave. They uh, like uh, they drink a lot of alcohol. They don't uh, go to school, and then they drink. Lot, I mean, smoking a lot of you know, drugs or things like that. And these people, they are Netherlands uh, government are worried, and they want to work with me. And they are here in Nepal, and they want to sh uh, share my dream with these children. And this, they want to show, look, Nepal, there's nothing, but still people can do a lot. And you have everything. Why, why you don't want to move? Why you don't want to learn? What try to learn something? And then this um, program we just did uh, last year. And it's very high successfully in Netherlands now. People, is, the children also changing that kid, and also other people learn a lot about the uh, how, what is in Europe, and still what people looking for, and what we have in Nepal, and how we are doing for it. You know, they're seeing the different things, and that is the also way we can change. You know, yeah. Our employees, most of employees around this community here, and I have now thirty thirty four staff in a hotel here, Sapna Lodge. And then of course there is also ladies and then men. Especially uh, the hotel. Uh, uh, if I talk about the hotel here, there is a uh, uh, ladies who have a uh, no husband, who have a, um, a husband is die, who husband is left over for them, and this kind of women they are very poor. And then I bring them here to do training. What I learn I share with them. And then now they are doing room cleaning, and they are also doing in the shop selling the things. And the boy also who are working here. All the stuff. Nobody went to school to study about the 
hotel uh, become waiter example or become bookkeeper or manager or whatever this all are we are learning by doing like i don't know it's called learning by doing or doing by learning something yeah 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 this is the way we learn and this is all the stuff from the hotel and we have a really i really happy it's a very teamwork and also you know i know a little bit about the what i see in europe even nepal even most of in nepal like a who owner from the hotel they want to be like a big boss and they always giving order and then i think this is not the right way to work I think it should be uh, is like more to use the example like a football team. You know, this is the best way to learn the improve the, your business. And this is the way I do in our hotel. I don't want to be like a you are a dishwasher or you are a room cleaner. No, everybody have responsible. And this is the and this is really work. And now even like a, now I'm sending my staff for the tour for four days. There I feel like okay, they work very hard. They need to some time. And they were having four day. to to go to study something and learn something and see some different things you know this is the way we are trying to do together working yeah first i told you that um, normally nepali i don't know other country but nepal when i take a when people want to have a job in sapana and i ask them always my question is what is you looking for what is your target like, like a dream what do you want to reach and many people say nothing and then some people they say they told me they said their dream and i really work for their dream to become true and already i have few example there is i had a before i had one bookkeeper and he shared me his dream he really want to be uh, to ma- to be his, to run his own shop like a wholesaler and with all the dairy milk like a pow- uh, cheese and all these things and i help him some money to let him to do his own job and now he's doing really good job and he pay already our money back because we also acting mini micro credit from the hotel not big amount a small amount we just try to push them and then but they have to do it and also this is the one example and also i just did a candle factory like a making candle in nepal here there's so many power cut and then and then the women are very smart and they come with a uh, more than seven eight women here one day they they hear about the we are helping people and they say they come up with a plan they say we they want to start to make a candle factory and then they say can you help us and they, they don't really looking big amount it's just like 300 they're looking for to start and i say okay i will do it and then also I don't work I don't believe with a paper I believe with a more trust and then I I didn't make any paper I just give the money I say okay good luck and how when you going to pay back and they say I told them if you pay me the until the 6 month you don't have to pay me any any interest if you not able to pay until 6 month you have to pay me the interest plus interest and then but it's little into 6% I charge and then they say okay and then they just sign the paper is small paper that says and i give money and they exactly coming before 6 month with all the money like a 5 rupees 10 rupees 50 rupees note with a big m big bundle and then they coming to pay back and you can feel their money they work so hard you know if they if they are doing big business maybe they have love all the big bill you know and i feel that is they are work so hard you see this is the way you help people to start their business and also of course we do chicken farming also we helping for the people who want to do other things like a uh, learning about the montessori class training for the school to study and all these things we do yeah also i i did also women group for the you know, tailoring like making all the dress up for the ch- people here and also i invest money there and they also doing very good job exact example they also doing the same exactly like a uh, candle things now they are they are on board so we not involve them we don't guide them even sometimes we then if they need help we just guide them or we don't want to involve this is their business and they have to do it and then also there is very nicely happen with a woman there is more than six women working six seven women women to making the clothes also this is a support by the sapanalas and we did a chicken farming for the, and chicken farming also there is a mother group from the tharu community they really want to do their own business and then they we help to buy the chicken baby and making the house and now they are let's pay our money back and they are is their own boss now they don't we didn't have to do anything and they are really, really, really doing good job even now they are buying they are doing really good business now they not only chicken farm they are buying now all the tent for the uh, tent and all the big pottery because normally in nepal when there's a wedding ceremony when there's a uh, some kind of a festival going on and people eat together food and you need all the tent making big bought food you know and then this they can rent it now if you chicken from chicken they on the money now they start their own business you see there's a lot of this kind of small example of course um, we are also not giving because we f- we make them the place to work like a sapana laws also uh, make them the workshop here and it's called sapana sapana design project 
we have like this also we try to bring the designer from Europe to help these ladies to make a production and then these ladies have to make the production and then we find the market to sell and this this is the one of the very successful project we have now and is a uh, they have they make a beautiful production and we have a shop and round there we, um, the, you can see and, and to get our guests hotel they can buy and the products and here we sell them and the money go to directly back to the woman here and this is very nice successfully happening and also same time of course when i before even i build the sapana laws i had a dream to also build a school because uh, i know there's a uh, people really need to go want to go to school and chiton i'm not talking about Kathmandu pokhara chiton there is no any good school i can say honestly this is not because uh, i involved with uh, so many different government school to improving their education system and also giving them drinking water library computer playing equipment even i send now one girl to go to montessori training all over what you offering in the school for the government already stable school that but there's things difficult to change the system because this is involved with the government also and and then teacher having salary from the government and they don't want to really change themselves and then i think and then there's a private school also nepal and private school of course there's it's okay but they're only looking for the money how to make as much as money possible and i don't found there's a good school in nepal and i think i'm stiton especially and I think so. I want to make a school also here, like example a school like a Sapana Lodge. Now Sapana Lodge people start to copy, and I really believe if you, if I work for this school to make example a school, one day the people from the other round is school they copy. That means you improving the education system for the whole Chiton. That's why I'm also busy for the building our own school, and this is going to be also I'm dreaming to make example a school. And after that, also of course, I have a more other dream I working for. I want to make also like a, a children playing ga uh, ch children playing garden something in you know, a big park children park because uh, here there's a lot of uh, people from even Nepali guests start to come now. There's Saura, Kathmandu is become really pollution, busy. Pokhara is okay mountain and next place where to go holiday is Mistiton, but there's not really place for the children and also like a park for the children to go swimming and playing the game and things and also we are i'm working to see how we can go and yeah this is things are there many more dreams for the future uh yeah i want uh, my my last uh, i mean i'm really working for this i told you children park and here this big piece of land up on a laws it's really big property for one owner and he's going to sell this piece of land and then of course i have no money for this to buy this land but i dreaming i think that's possible I really believe it's possible uh, I, because uh, how is possible even I can make a good plan business plan and there's a there's a when there's a good business plan there's a people want to buy the share in Europe there's a people have money and they are looking for where to spend with a good project a good place and we can sell the share for the people from Europe or anywhere country they can be shareholder and we can do something different example and again for the Saura you know for the Chilean uh, park and or organic vegetable or recycling project because see Saura there's a more than 95 hotel there's so much plastic glass all the starting to become like now it's still clean but one day if you don't think about how to control this garbage it's going to be mess and also we can start this garbage project like recycling and this is also there is also big business you can sell plastic you can sell glass you can make compost people want to buy compost you see there's business but we, somebody have to take take action to start it and I think there's a possibility I really believe that you know and I want to work every room have a different kind different paint every room if you go you see the different painting this is a painting about the, also about the Tharu people they used to paint their house because one festival is called Dipavali is a candle festival once a year this festival we uh, people like uh, believe the middle of the night like 12 o'clock God called Lakshmi she will entry the house and if you don't make a nice print with the hand i told you already and hand print or stem or drawing if you make beautiful your house god will come and people start to do competition and that is the culture things you know and that's why we also do our inside our house all, house all these two things to serve the culture <laughs> of course there's a in the, in the old there's a million people also there and there's very very poor people also there's no any balance you know but i believe you know whatever you own in your life whatever you do in your life one day you have to leave behind 
you you born naked, you go naked. But only things you need to eat morning and evening, two two time good food. That's it you need and some clothes. But rest of other things is uh, you're going to live one day anyway, whatever you are. You we say it's, it's my my my, but one day it's not your. And I think before you, when you are born here, you have to do something for the earth, for the, this place, you know, be, before you go. That is uh, my feeling and my philosophy, and I work for that. No, because we 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 suffer a lot. We are not only Lord running the business for the hotel. Mm -hmm. We do have one. It's called uh, Sapana Women Skill Development Project. It's for the women project, mm -hmm. and then the, this is going on project now, and then part of that we involving with a community here, to you know, a health and sensory. It's like a drinking water and toilet because people used to go toilet outside. They have no toilet at home. We build them their house. Every household have a toilet. We build, and then drinking water we do. And then part of that also we involving in the school, in government school, because there's a private and government. Private school is more people who have money. They send their private school their children, and poor children they go to the government school. And we are involving government school to improve the system also to bring them same level for the private school. And that that is very difficult. And we working few different school already more than five schools we working and two school we are doing now launching program. Because we used to work also from the Netherlands, there's MCC, Medical Checkup for Children. Doctor Group, I working eight years with them. They come to, the, we work together with a health checkup. And we found children have a really, they need a lot of vitamin, it's called multiply vitamin. That means there's no enough good food at home. Then we start to give lunch program in school to give them uh, nice lunch and they can have a healthy food and also nowadays children start to go to school more now I talk with the principal he said oh there's more children this year oh there's more children other. you know there's children grow for the school because they children say oh there's a food we go to eat and we can study you see this is the way we are doing also for the school things and part of that we are building our own school now we are on the, on the construction phase uh, is a uh, is a, uh, we're going to is opening 2015 this is school and this is the school we want to make example school for the whole Chitawan and that's why it takes some time to go slowly and also of course that school I need a help with the foreigner people who have education background who have a management background or not only the money things also knowledge is important and that is also we, we try to find the people who can involve with us to help yeah this is our project about Oh, they are, they are, they are, oh, no, so, uh, the, I mean, uh, this Omen Skill Development Project, they are, they are making, they are, it, there's few designers involved. There's some designer from the Netherlands, some designer from the France. Uh, uh, they are involving with us, they're helping this woman. Uh, we make some production, is also design products. It's go to the Europe market, it's directly go, it's go to the design shop, even. They make and it's go to the design shop, some production. And some production they design and they it's go to the local market. And this, uh, like, uh, the example, they make cushion cover. An example, they make a small elephant children can play. An example, they make slinger for the Christmas uh, decoration things. And when there's a wedding or some party in, in Europe, they put a slinger. They make beautiful slinger also. You know, all these kind of things, the products there. Yeah. While we are working, there's one products manager, for the woman, she's also a woman. And one is the products controller. And there's more other women is working there. And this is like a teamwork. And then money, what they, because they're getting like a, a fixed salary. Part of that, because they need salary, reason, if there's no job, they have to buy food. But then they get a certain salary, and part of the salary, they get the percentage for the production. If they make one uh, elephant, then of course the elephant, they might get 100 rupees or 200 rupees. But part of that, they have their own fixed salary. And if there's no any order, still they can have the salary. This is the way we try to make a balance with this woman to let them to still stay there. Sometimes we don't get any order, then still they need some money, you know? Yeah.